Hey everyone, GeoArm Security here. Today I'm going to show you how to install your 3GL wireless cellular communicator into the Honeywell L5210 wireless security system. The first thing we're going to want to do is grab our 3GL cellular package and we're going to go ahead and want to open it up very carefully. Uh, in case you ever need to return anything, you want to keep all the original packaging in resellable condition. You want to remove all of the contents, the cellular module, and your accessory little package here. Kind of put that to the side. And I like to open this accessory bag and take all of the inside contents, which will be your three screws for mounting the cellular module, and your cellular chip, which I'll show you how to install in just a few moments. And I like to place that inside the little carton here so I don't lose any of the screws. Uh, or the chip. Next we're going to take our cellular module, remove it from the bubble wrap and place the bubble wrap aside and now you can see the 3GL cellular module. So I like to go ahead and put that right next to the panel here and I like to prepare the cellular module first and there is a correct way to do this so you'll see on the actual chip on the top it'll say GSM and then there will be a line underneath it with L5000. What we're going to do is take the area that says GSM and we're going to insert that into the GSM module like so. And it should just uh, slide in just slide in very gently. You should feel like a little grab. That's when you know that it's completely in. Now you're going to need your little Phillips head screwdriver we're going to turn the Lynx Touch panel on its side like so and this is going to expose the two depressions at the top where we're going to go ahead and push down and at the same time you want to use your fingers to push away from the back mounting bracket the front plate and do the same for the other end you may need to just work them back and forth eventually it will open now you have the insides of the panel exposed. So of course the, the system's going to need to be powered down, the backup battery, uh, everything taken out before you start manipulating any of the accessories such as the 3GL. Now what we're going to do is take the other end where it says L5000 and we're going to insert it there which will align the three mounting screws. So it's very simple, you just go ahead and slide it in like so and you'll see that the three little holes are, are all aligned like that and we're going to take our mounting screw from the box and we're going to go ahead and insert into one of the holes go ahead and work with this one now lastly we'll be working with this bottom left one Right now that you have the cellular module mounted, you will want to locate your MAC and MAC CRC off of the cellular module. This is going to be the numbers we're going to use in order to activate your cellular module so we can begin monitoring the panel. This will be done on the day of your appointment to go online. At this time you can go ahead and plug in your power, your power cable, your LT cable, or your transformer wire, the 22 gauge by 2 wire. We like to use the LT cable. Now of course when you plug it in you don't want to have the transformer quite plugged in, just this area. All your other accessories at this time you can go ahead and plug in the panel. Once the panel is lit up you can then go ahead and slide in your battery, your backup battery and then you can seal the panel up like so and of course just to go ahead and skip over this where it says system standby little trick is you can just hold down the bottom right home button for a few seconds and now you can begin manipulating the panel and that's how you install your 3GL wireless cellular communicator into the Lynx Touch L5210 wireless security system.